Nice to meet you, Rashid. Nice speaking with you, Bob. You speaking with ATM Fox? Welcome to All Time Media. Make these videos for educational purposes only. May I have your age? I'm 25 years old. 25, young young man. Yes, sir. Where are you from, Rashid? I'm originally from West Philadelphia, man. Um, uh, originally from uh, right around the corner from Overbrook High School, actually. Okay. And um, can you speak up for me a little bit? Yeah, yeah, no My problem. bad, I don't got my mic on me today. Okay, Overbrook High School. Did you graduate? Yeah, I graduated high school in uh, California. My mom lives in Northern California. Okay, been all over. All over a little bit, yeah. You say your mom, she still lives out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom still lives out there. You speak, Wait. you speak to her at all? Um, yeah, we talk almost every other day. You know, she's just trying to get me back out there after I'm off probation. Uh, I got like six, seven months left of probation. Trying to get back out to her and my little sister. Okay, that's good. You, you're a big brother and all. How was your little sister? My little sister is five years old. Um, you know, my mom wants me to, you know, remain clean and stuff like that before I can get a healthy relationship for her. Right. Okay. Are you uh, currently addicted to any drug substances? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, life, life, life's bringing me back full circle. I'm currently addicted to cocaine, crack cocaine, marijuana, and um, fentanyl. How did your drug addiction start? Uh, it started me um, getting into a behavioral hospital after I came home from jail. And I was in a recovery house, and I got introduced to getting high. I started off with just weed. And the next thing you know, I was introduced to um, crack, crack cocaine, and then PCP, and uh, but just about everything else. So, Who introduced you, know, you to the crack and the, the PCP? Uh, when I came home from jail, I was discharged through a recovery house, and um, I was introduced to it by a couple of guys that was inside the recovery house. Hmm, at a recovery and, house. Addiction has led me out here and on the streets, and you know making the wrong decisions at times. Okay. Have you ever had a job? Um, I worked plenty of jobs, like security after I graduated from high school, construction jobs, um, you know, you know uh, kitchen jobs, you know, uh, cashier jobs. I used to work in King of Pressure and uh, pretty much all over. Um, I came home from jail though. Um, it was kind of rough for me. How'd you end up in jail? I ended up in jail. Um, I ended up in jail. Uh, I did 11 months in 2019 for um, uh, robbery um, inside of an uh, establishment. Robbery inside of an establishment? Uh... In King of Pressure. And I did. Ended up in Montgomery County. Um, um, in 2019, I did 11 months. What was that 11 months like for you? It was my first bid in Philadelphia. Um, I thought I was going to be able to ROR, but they tried to say that I had some um, detainers that were sticking to California, and I wasn't able to leave until like two months after the coronavirus hit. And then they finally let me say that I can bail out. But the 11 months was hard, and um, you know, it was very emotional for me because, you know, it was my first time really being locked up for that long. And I didn't really understand how how jail really worked and, uh, and how they treat you as, a, as pretty much a criminal. You know, and you got to get a public defender. And, you know, it's just tough. Where do you see yourself in the next six months, I see. In the next six months, I see myself wrapping it up with my PO as far as how much time I got left in my probation, and then talking with my family, my mom, and seeing just exactly uh, what she wanted to do. Because I would like to go back out and, and you know go back out to California. You know, I feel like all my friends out here are dead now, 
Mm. It's been a long, long, long road, and I actually got more friends now out, out, out there now than I do here. All your friends are dead. What happened with your friends? My friends got murdered. One of my friends got murdered. His name is Reginald Lewis. Mm. You know, another one of my friends was murdered. Um, Jameer Hainsworth. And, you know, uh, I went to Simon Grass, ninth and 10th grade. And after that, um, mm. my mom wanted me to come live with her. So I went out there. I graduated high school out there. And then I came home from um, th uh, to Philly to visit family and then I ended up, you know, just staying with my dad, working a few jobs and after coming, after uh, doing my jail bit in here, I kind of got stuck out here, you know what I mean, for, um, you know, the 11 months that I did in 2019, the last, the last two, three years that I've been um, homeless out here on the streets and just you know, figuring things out on my own, sometimes the hard way. It's been a, it's been rough, man. Yeah, it's been rough, man. Um, you know, I feel like it's just, it's just crazy, man. I, I try to get to the ending meetings. I'm working on trying to get a sponsor soon. That's good. I'm working on trying to, you know, you know, you know, just go down the right path, man. Um, and, and just do whatever I need to do, to, you know, to to try to, you know, stay productive and start to stay motivated. You know, and just being disciplined and, and trying to do what I got to do. All right, man. Stay on, stay on a positive, positive. How much are you using? Um, I'm using about um, two, three bags a day. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, just constantly out here just looking for small work, anything. You know what I mean? Um, you know, every, each day is different. Some days are bad, some days are good. You know what I mean? Fortunately, I know a lot of different people, but, you know, fortunately, because of the drug usage and the toll that it takes on me mentally and physically. Have you, have you attempted to go uh, live in the shelter at all? Yeah, I've attempted to live in the shelter, but, you know, sometimes in the shelter systems, you know, they wake you up at 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, you know? And that's not really, you know, it's, it's not really ideal for me, you know. Sometimes I find myself, man, just... Just, just not going into the shelter, you know what I mean? Because of the people there that I might feel uncomfortable with, or just you know how 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 each day works. You know. What I mean? Do you see yourself getting clean anytime soon? I see myself getting clean within the next few months. Within the next I mean? four months? Within the next few months. Few months. I see myself getting clean, you know, uh, immediately. It's just you know, I gotta go to see my PO um, and see if they let me. Um, how much time left I got on probation, and you know, trying to figure out um, exactly what I want to do because I know I want to go back to California, so I don't really want to get bunkered in. And, um, just to you, you keep mentioning um, your probation, right? Are they are they drug testing you? My so you probation officer, um, uh, they aren't drug testing me because I I don't have a case for drugs. I don't have a um, you know. But uh, they say like uh, you know that you know I think they allow me to smoke weed, but they're not really allowing me to do anything. But they haven't been requiring me uh, piss test because I don't have a record for uh, this drug related. That's good. That's good. Well, Rashi, you've been a great interview for me, man. I like to wish you the best on your journey on getting clean and sober. You keep it up. Thank you, baby. In a man. few months, you get off uh, probation. You'll be clean and you'll be on the right step. Um, you got any family support at all? Or? Um, family support right now will be uh, well, my mom, my dad. But, you know, sometimes my mom doesn't answer the phone because of the three-hour California difference. Right. So it's a little bit hard sometimes to get in contact with them. Well, Rashi, I'd like to thank you for your time, man. You've been a great interviewee for me. All the time media be praying for you. Thank you, bro. All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.